Welcome to the first episode of Class Royal with Poco Goyal and here I'm going to present you a Loon Lightning Deck Strategy. It's cool. L Loon Lightning Rage. These are the three elements which make this deck and there are no structures in it so no guarantee. Please internet connection get well soon. And level 7 uh, minion horde, low level stuff. And I don't need to log. Uh, why is it the, the only legendary I got? with this account why is it the only legendary i got a rage lightning minion or so why use the log so, so anyway i'm going to show you some gameplay from this and i hope you guys will like it and um, it's pre-update gameplay to note so minion hot won't die to balloon bombs so it is more effective after the update and it's more advisable to use it now. Now, I tell you now. Royal Arena is where I got, which used to be a great thing before. Not uh, much of it anymore. But uh, let's take a flashback to old gameplay, which a deck which will become greater. I got the Witch, Musketeer, Balloon, not a bad starting hand at all compared to my deck and he got the Witch, we got, I got the Witch as well and simultaneous dropping of the Witches, that's nice that boy deck, we dropped it at the same time, he has got the Musketeer and he drops it at the extreme back and uh, I simultaneous dropping of the valkyries simultaneous but not at the same place though i use my mosquito to defend the goblin battle and then with mosquito his wrists and mosquito progress my minion horde gets wrecked by the fire spirits though they wreck the mosquito and the witch with the mosquito support well played from both the sides in my side as well but I usually BM, I warn you guys, if you don't like BM, don't subscribe. I mean, please subscribe. Anyhow, I like every type of person. So, balloon, I'm progressing with my balloon and I got a good deal of damage. He misses with the rocket. Oh, yes, I got another shot. So, he's progressing on with his royal giant and he's at uh, a good deal of, we are uh, equally paced at elixir. And he sends his musketeer to defend the royal giant. And uh, I send the valkyrie too late, a bit too late. And he sends his valkyrie as well. Mus witches, my favorite witches. They defend almost anything. So I try to counter push with the musketeer and the, with the witches support. And I build a huge push with the balloon. So balloon is no joke. The rage comes on, an unexpected rage perhaps or not much before the previous and I wreck the tower. The balloon is one of the most awesome offensive troops till now. And I use the fire spirits to wreck the goblin barrel and uh, my witch is going to hopefully wreck the witch despite cheating why the king tower. And Valkyrie gets a swing on there and he sends Rocket onto my left lane. But I instead push to my right lane and I finish off his minion horde. And I, we are on 2-0. Poco is winning. Poco is got a, a guaranteed win. He can't recrown me or something in 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12. I'm just counting. We are going to win it. We are going to win it. He sends his royal giant, but I go for the three crown. No, I can't three crown and why is he pushing for the one crown either? With the same logic, I push for three crown and fail for the three crown and fail for the one crown. But the total success goes to the legendary Poco and there's another class royal gameplay through a name, a foreign name, which I can't understand. Sorry, guys, if uh, anybody understands royals, he got a giant skeleton. Graveyard coming next. That's uh, an amazing card if used correctly. I dropped a Valkyrie to protect the Giant's Kitchen. It's le right lane rush for me, guys. So 
he's got the chance clayton moving in i direct uh, try to wreck the minion horde in type but not so much a massive amount of damage on both the sides the mosquito sail bam 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 more shots and the goblin barrier is going to eventually finish my left tower but i don't mind because anyway i'm going to take the take the right tower as well i got a lightning i think about the lightning board the ta- king tower but uh, i leave it for the end and i push with the witch on the left lane so i we he waits for what i'm going to do and i sent in the musketeer as well and the v- v- valkyrie as well so i have enraged in them all and he is stuck he is stuck what is he doing he is just holding on the sparky maybe he fears that the, his sparky might go dead and angry mode why angry sir you only wasted your time and uh, your sparky wasted it short on for uh, unfortunately it gets a straight there short on my power and minion horde is hopefully going to wreck it no it's going to not be that much on time so my minion horde moves mini mini on hot just like the mini mini packa makes equally sense so the graveyard is going to push in skeletons for on the sides my tower has got a bit of damage from it still the goblin barrel so my mosquito moves in and tries to counter no hard counters of goblin barrel in this this deck not even the zap don't count in the zap uh, but i push with my balloon as he defends by with my giant skeleton and we he couldn't deploy his minion horde in time so i lightning bolt the towers but that isn't just enough he's throws the crying emotion because he thinks the game is going to be... thanks for placing the golden bar at the correct place the valkyrie just swings around and my favorite valkyrie thank you for saving my life and i we got the mini mini pack i am moving in and i by mistake can he drop the balloon over there and he drops the graveyard and i just in time seal victory with the lightning spell the lightning on time and we seal a three crown win against the forest name sorry if i can't pron- i can't pronounce it and our third battle against ahmad vira from transpartica 7.4 and i we got the royal giant which must he got it and uh, i dropped a mini heart from the back to push with the balloon a hard push a quick push he sends in the giant skeleton to absorb the mini heart's damage and uh, he sends in the arrows in the end to protect them because he didn't have them as the starting hand the fire spirits can do massive amount of damage so I, poco decides to drop in the valkyrie the valkyrie moves forward to the right lane and is right lane and is, he drops his valkyrie and which wins due to cheating by his tower and i also try cheating with my musketeer oh we got don't call that cheating do we well he got the skeleton army which strikes my musketeer and i got nothing to defend the damn hog it's going to get a huge amount of damage on my tower i can't do anything uh, so i push in with the witch and the balloon and uh, there comes the rage spell so my uh, balloon is going to get a shot despite absorbing some fire spirits and the witch is going to do negligible damage we don't care about chip damage while playing such a deck do we so what he is doing valkyrie arrows giant skeleton bomber he's just shuffling it all his cards and he doesn't understand what to do i guess not a great starting hand if it came as a starting hand i just drop my valkyrie simply like that he sends in his giant skeleton and uh, a lot of giant skeleton in the previous two battles as well or the previous one battle i don't remember minion horde to protect kill them both but doesn't work out so i sent my witch as well with the so my witch has negligible hit points and he sends his in his hog rider which is a great piece of help for me and i sent in my balloon and try to counter push hard 
real hard and his arrows wreck some fire spirits a real late raid spell from me and a valkyrie is doing great job as always for me absorbing those fire spirits and killing that skeleton army and a lightning spell comes kills the bomber which and the, the damage is the valkyrie not kills it so i push in with the balloon and he determines predicts an arrows and just my balloon bomb drops at the tower and the not a great push we are going to lose uh, i hope not i not a great placement of the valkyrie over there but uh, we're going to push for it just double digit hit points really quick it's urgent he sends in his arrows but it doesn't somewhat work out the which is lightninged and the uh, so is the arrow and we get the tower just in time pok ho one earth the that was a nail biting win guys it's a really cool deck if you use it correctly a do or die deck if you like the episode please talk or subscribe hit the subscribe button hard just don't break so that you can follow my class gameplay i hope you liked it bye guys yeah